also a short little video on this thing. Now I've had the disc on my keyring for quite some time now, uh, probably about three years. And it's probably one of the best little LED lights I've had, to be honest. Um, the other ones I've had have always died pretty quickly and, and um, fallen apart or whatever. And this is a Energizer branded one, but it's probably in other brands as well. And it's a bit, it's playing up. Um, I've never had to replace the battery, it's still the original battery in it. And um, I used to use it, you know, a couple of times a week probably. But it's playing up. So I thought I'd just pull it apart and um, have a look at it. And I thought I'd just do a video, seeing as, you know, why not? In case somebody else is interested, but say it's, it's it's got China on the back, of course. But um, yeah, I, I mean, I was, I've tried lots of different little LED torches, and you know, they were too bulky, or the batteries are not dodgy, or you know, weird batteries, or um, all sorts of stuff. So, um, but this one's been good; it gives really good light, and um, yeah, it's, it's been awesome. So I just wanted to try and fix it. You know, it's, grime in there from years of use if I can get in thing to open up let's have a look come on must be a little gap in there somewhere here we go so energizer toss of course it's got an energizer battery in it 2032 um so that looks extremely simple doesn't it so we have, as you'd expect, energizer battery. Um, it's all mounted in natural button, look. It's all one piece, it's rubberized. Let's pull that out. So there's the housings. And there's another energizer battery. So it takes six volts. And that just pushes through there, look. Look at that. How simple is that, eh? That is the torch. Um, so this button here, you can actually see it's splitting, it's starting to degrade. Um, you know, you get a bit of that, you know, oil, oil off your hands and it, rubbers don't agree with oil. They don't like it, they end up fracturing like this. Known as ESC, environmental stress cracking, in case anyone cares. Um, that's what happens with being in the plastics industry, I suppose. Knowing shit like that. So, yeah, that's, I mean, you can see it's worn. Um, but that is actually pushing. It's also, in a way, it's also. Um, you actually see there's like a line through there. That's actually the line from the leg of the diode. So it's actually wearing on the uh, rubber, which could be all it is. Um, I mean, the actual. It's got a bit of dirt on there. Not that bad. A bit of dirt on that one. So if maybe I clean those batteries up. Give this a bit of a clean. And maybe put some kind of. Um, Maybe a little plas plastic disc or something in there, just to spread that load across the rubber, and that'll probably be fine again, I'd say. Um, but yeah, that's an incredible, incredibly simple design, and incredibly effective. And it's all they usually are anyway, it's just an LED and a, and a battery or two, I mean, that's all you ever expect out of them. But this has been a nice one, it's a beautiful solid case, you know, nice cast case, it's, it's, it's heavy. You know, um, maybe you don't want heavy on the keys, but I like something robust. You can drop it and have it fall apart, and that's what this has been like. So, um, you know, you can hear that beautiful thing. So, I'm, I'm going to modify this. Let's see what I've got to um, put in there. It can't be metal. It has to be a plastic. Um, and it can't be so thick that it won't allow it to bounce back up. You can see it's probably what that um, that little bit of sheathing is for on that pin there, is to make sure it's held up. Um, what do I have that I could use for that? Hmm. Oh, I know. Let's have a look. Bit of mic insulator. It's not plastic, but it's an insulator. Um, as you can see, this has been used. I can probably just cut that down to size to fit inside here, and that will just spread that load across it. So let's just have a look at this. Let's 
try and make it kind of fit the right size. It's not square either, is it? See so if I cut it like that. Yeah, I do. Good enough. Right. So let's give this a bit of a clean. Rather make any sign, I've got it dirty. Slide the back in. The battery's back in. Now I just need to make sure that it's all sitting in the right places so it doesn't actually miss. Bit of a uh, far cry from my usual videos, but uh, hey, might interest someone. Knowing how one of these things works, how to fix them, how to make them better. Okay, here we go. Run working torch. Sorry. And go back on my case. Get you later.